Ali Drew four seconds out with Liam Davis, who has just made his Queensbury debut. In front of your home fans in your hometown, how does that feel? Yeah, very uh, pleased tonight, like I said. More pleased with everyone back. In first fight in my hometown in many years, so hopefully uh, we can build on this now. Next time I can be the main event instead of one of these undercards. The crowds are going absolutely crazy. Was that spurring you on? Because it was you came out explosive and got it done in the second round. Oh well, yeah, that, I was a bit too excited one night at times. But like I said, I just wanted to put a performance on. I think it's over a year ago now, the crowd of last year. So I wanted to make it special and uh, I'm happy tonight. I'm happy that I got the stoppage, what I came to do. And you've fought him before, um, but do you think that you're a sort of different fighter now this time around? You got him down, I think, twice in the first round and then stopped him in the second. Yeah, so like I said, I fought him early on and I won on points, but I knew when I had a three or four change opponents this one, I wasn't really happy with the opponent, but it's nothing I can do. I'm happy to be on the show. And I just knew, like my dad said to me, you shouldn't go past two with you. You shouldn't let him go past two. So to, the pressure is on off my dad today. And I got it done, so I'm happy. And what now? What are you wanting now? You know, you've, you've proved a great performance tonight. What is next for you? Yeah, I want the big names. I want Dennis McCann or I want Prince Patel. One, just because he's got the Commonwealth title. And Dennis has got the name, so I want either of them to. That's my ideal, my next fight in Telford. Boom. Yeah, because you were ordered to fight Dennis McCann. It, it, it didn't happen. Um, what happened with that? Yeah, so uh, we was down to fight him. My manager rang me after a week or so, and he said they withdrew. So uh, the fight didn't happen. You can make excuse whatever, but they withdrew from the fight. They didn't want it, that says to me. So um, they can say what they want, make any excuses. But I hopefully I, I don't lose my position. I don't lose my bout, so I'll move on, keep moving forward. And... Uh, Hopefully that fight can happen, so I'm, I'm eager for it, I'm eager. Now you're with Queensbury, obviously there's a good chance it will happen. Um, you spoke to Frank Ringside, what was he saying? He's just saying uh, there's good right hands and strong, That's, he's happy, like I said, uh, I just asked him how I got on, and he said good man, strong, so I'm happy with what he said, but like I say, let's pick the opposition up and let's, let me real show what I'm about, because tonight I just went in there to blow him out. I'm a boxer, I can show my skill in time, so... Let's get the opponents and let's get it on. And you wanting to be out ASAP? You ready to go? Yeah, I want to be out. I can go next. I, I'm fresh now and I keep training and uh, hopefully the phone goes soon for a big, a big fight, another title fight or, like I say, a big name. That's what I want, something big to build my profile up. That's what I'm in it for. All or nothing, that's my motto. How are you celebrating tonight? You've got all your fans here. How are you going to celebrate? Yeah, I'm going to go have a shower quick. I'm going to get out there with them and... Uh, have a few beers with them, why not? Well, enjoy and well Thank done. Great you. performance.